Hello. I stuck a couple of Mobius cameras to the bottom of my hat brim like this to try making some stereoscopic video of the cross-eyed variety. Uh, there's actually three Mobius as you can see there but the top one is the one that's actually stuck to the hat with these wire ties and then the other two are stuck to that with a couple of pieces of wood. And as you can see they are facing slightly inwards and that is on purpose because the way that you um, view this, you may already know of course, but just for those who are not aware, stereoscopic vision works by looking at the same point in space from two different locations, namely your two eyeballs, and that's what gives you your depth perception. Um, but unfortunately on a computer screen we can't display just one thing because we need to display two different pictures for each eye. So the way you can do it to reproduce the same kind of depth effect is by crossing your eyes so that, for example, the eye on the left, the image displayed to that one is shown or taken from um, a little bit towards the right. So this is the blue lines. And then the eye on the right will be looking towards the left a little bit. So this is what you do when you cross your eyes. Um, <clears throat> so the part of this frame that overlaps will give you a valid depth perception so that's the green part in the middle and the little bits on the side here are actually useless and they just sort of make things look a bit funny so what I like to do is or what we're trying to do is make the, the left eye look at just this area and the right eye to look at just this area and I'll show you a frame from the video in a minute that I took just to explain this a little bit better. Um, but to make sure we're only looking at this range here, what I like to do is um, block off this area. I just use my hands usually. Um, so I'll put my hands on the side and make just a little hole. And then you cross your eyes and you look at the computer screen and sort of... Um, you need to keep your head level, of course. Don't tilt it to the side and this distance here I think I keep this at about 20 centimeters or so and then the overall distance to the screen I find the best result is at about a meter or just over a meter um, so <clears throat> to just demonstrate what I do there I just go like that so that I have just a little little area in the middle that's going to be the valid or the green area of the uh, screen that we saw just before. So um, here is a frame from the video. So as you can see, the eye on the, uh, let's see, the frame on the left is what the eye on the right is going to see when you cross your eyes, all right? So they're gonna get um, reversed. So in the picture on the left, you can see that the right eye has a much better view of the tree on the left and the left eye which is the picture on the right has a much better view of the vending machines over on the far right side of the frame so it's just this little piece in the middle that we're going to be able to use effectively so to get back to what I was saying before the reason that the two Mobius cameras are slanted inwards is to mimic the same kind of angle that your eyes will be pointing when you eventually look at this through the cross-eyed um, directions. And the reason I've put the frames around the outside is just to help when you're trying to align the two pictures together it helps if some part of the picture is not moving so that's why the frames are like that with the little sort of tabs at the corners to uh, hopefully help you overlap those two white areas uh, a little bit easier. Uh, so when you're watching this, I found that it made me feel sick after about a minute or two. So I reprocessed it and I tried it with a barrel distortion removal filter from Virtual Dub. And that seemed to help quite a lot. Um, but still, yeah, after a while you may feel sick. <laughs> and I think part of the reason is that usually I'm watching it in a lighted room. So I have the rest of the room around me that my brain's trying to, you know, 3D process in 3D as well. Um, so I found it did help a little bit to turn all the lights off so that the computer screen is like the, the rest of the room is kind of dark and you can't really see details very well and then you sort of get enveloped in the 
the fake 3D of this uh, cross-eyed thing a little bit better. Anyway, so for the rest of the video, I'm just going to roll the footage that I got. Uh, I just rode around my local area on my bicycle uh, fairly early in the morning. Nice quiet morning, sunny day. Um, so there's nothing really interesting happening in the video, although if you've never been to Japan, you might find it perhaps a little bit interesting just to sort of look around the day-to-day uh, -day life of what's going on in this neighborhood. Um, that's about all I have to say, I think. So if you feel sick, stop watching it, I guess. All right, see you later. Not that way. <laughs> this way.
ステレオビジョンです。はい、答えが三百九十四円になります。はい、まあ五百円になります。はい、百六円の返しになります。ありがとうございます。